Hello, folks. Our boy needs a good AI upscaling glow up. But ordinary upscaling just won't do. We need the best of the best. So we're going to compare a whole bunch of AI scaling options and see which AI upscaler performs the best for our boy in an AI, AI upscaling, upscaling face off. Can we save our boy? Can we give him the glow up he deserves? Or is this cat just too low quality? Find out by watching this video and sub for more. In order to run this experiment for the cat glow up, I'm using Comfy UI. We're gonna see the essential parts of this Comfy UI workflow and then just dive straight into the results. So we start over here. Over on the left, we just chuck our little cat inside. We set the variables we want one thing that we also do is gradually change the denoise. Denoise indicates how much of our upscaler is allowed to affect the original image. So if we turn it up real high, the image will look completely new. And if we keep it low, the image will look exactly the same as our input image. So the key is finding one denoise that turns us up enough while at the same time doesn't take us too far into the realm of a completely different or in some cases a uh, two-headed cat. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. And up here we have a tagger which will provide a positive prompt that will allow our upscaler to be more accurate. And we have our negative prompt, which indicates what our model shouldn't look like. And you can see right over here, we don't want it to look low quality or worse quality or human. Because in fact, the model may turn the cat human if you don't tell it not to. And that uh, <laughs> results in some very interesting things. Over here we have our models. So we run a total of eight models just to be thorough with it. And... Then we have the whole magical process where everything's run and saved. These last two steps can be seen in almost any other video about stable diffusion and comfy UI. So we'll just run past that part and get to the results. And now we have the face off where we can see all of the results to, to see if our cat did in fact get that good glow up. Across the top we got our denoise. Vertically we have models. We have three different kinds of models. We have your standard diffusion, which is your normal one. We have your new kin on the block, SDXL. And we also have our in-painting models. And we can see which one performed the best. Let's try to find a good upscale. It's very interesting because we got different results even though the parameters were all the same throughout. The only thing that changed was the model and yet we have all these uh, diverse cats. But remember, the goal is to have a cat that is both similar to our original boy while at the same time a higher quality version of that boy without uh, changing all that much. My favorite has to be the Real Viz XL model, which is interesting because typically you don't hear SDXL models being as good as upscaling as standard sort of run of the mill standard diffusion models, but it looks like that has been disproven in this case of SDXL. So there you go. Secret information only found on this channel. Yeah, I'd say 0.5 is just looking great. So there you have it, folks. We gave the cat the glow up he deserves and found the best upscaling model for cats in realistic scenarios. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll get in those comments. And if you got any questions, just let me know and I'll answer. And you gotta let me know if we did our cat justice. Thank you.